Hello, my name is Joseph R. Today we look at the homotopic function. It's a function, a rational function, wherein a denominator and denominator you have a linear function. Yeah? In this case, f of x is x minus 2 divided by x plus 1. We look at the domain 0 point and so on. Yeah? First of all, we look at the 0 point. 0 means where the function crosses the x's. That's the 0 point of the denominator. That means where x minus 2 is 0. So we write up x minus 2 is 0. That means x equals to 2. So the 0 point is the number 2. 0. Yeah. Secondly, you have also denominator, where this point, this function is 0, you get a vertical asymptote. Where x minus 1 is 0, you get a vertical asymptote, is x minus 1, x equals minus 1. Yeah. With all the domain of this function, yeah, will be all points except this vertical asymptote. Your domain will be all points, that means r minus, excludes the point minus 1. Yeah. Next, you have also a horizontal asymptote. This is equal to the coefficients of the x values. You have one x divided by one x. You keep over one. That means your horizontal will be the, fo the formula y equals one. Yeah. That means your break, yeah, your your image will be r minus the point one. Yeah. Image is the x y s. That means the x s. You also cross with the y x. That means you put x on 0, you get a value minus 2. So this, when, when you for, put in from value 0 for x, you get minus 1 divided by 1, that is minus 2. So your cross with the y is 0, minus 2. Yeah. So there are your points that you buy. You, you have a 0 point, yeah, nominator. You have an asymptote, vertical and horizontal asymptote. Yeah. And you have a um, cross with the yx. Yeah. Now you put in in the, in the table, yeah, you have function x, x minus 2, x plus 1, and f and x. Now, the denominator gets 0 for 2, yeah, that means this is a, your denominator gets 0 for 1 minus 1, your denominator gets 0. This is not a 0 point, it's a vertical asymptote. You put there vertical asymptote. Yeah. x minus 2 is a climbing line, yeah, meaning first 0, uh, sorry, you have also the value 0. There is a value minus 2. Yeah. That's a cross with the xs, ys. Now, x minus 2 is a climbing line, so my first min than plus. Same for x plus 2. So first minus than positive. Then you uh, have plus, minus, plus. Now, you know that this plus means if you go to minus infinity, then you go to the vertical asymptote, node, it goes to plus infinity, here to minus infinity. Yeah, that's the definition of vertical asymptote. At the end of the line, if you go to plus and minus infinity, you get a value of 1, that's the whole asymptote. There you go to the value of 1. Yeah. So that means you have this way of going. You go from 1 to plus, to plus infinity, then you go from minus infinity to minus 2, to, to 0, and to 1. Yeah. We draw that down in our graphic. Yeah. First in the graphic, we draw our vertical asymptote at minus 1. So we, take, we, we draw a vertical asymptote at minus 1. So this is a vertical asymptote, yeah. minus 1. We draw also the zero point, that's a value of 2 on the x-axis. Yeah. Then we draw the horizontal asymptote, that's value 2. So at i, y2, you have a horizontal asymptote. Two. Yeah. We have already a zero point at 2. Yeah. Now we know from the table that you start at 1, at minus infinity. So you start at 1. You go up to plus infinity. So you go up to plus infinity until the vertical asymptote. At the vertical asymptote, you switch to minus infinity. You go to the cross with the yx, minus 2. You go through the zero. You end at 1. Yeah. So you go from minus zero to the yx at value minus 2, to the 0 at 0, 2, and you end at 1. Yeah. This figure is called a hyperbole. Yeah. This with two arms is called a hyperbole. Yeah. This is homographic functions, all always hyperboles. Yeah. You have two arms, you have a vertical asymptote and a horizontal asymptote. Yeah. So that's the graphic and the explanation about the homographic function. Thank you for your attention and see you next time. Bye and thank you very much. Bye.